Greetings, God of Golds here. Um, back with, believe it or not, a newer mod since I've had to, well, well, I left the other one, unfortunately. But basically, um, to make a long story short, my old server, well, my old mod was pretty much cooed. So, I just wanted to say, um, yeah, I'm afraid that project kind of sank. Although, um, I have a new thing going for me now. I'm trying to go for a more simpler approach. Now, it does share a lot of similarities to that of, uh, let's say, Vanilla Hoi 4. I call it a Cold Steel World. And this, this mod right here, a um, bunch of things happen. The Kornilov Affair in Russia succeeds after 1918. Um, there was kind of like a two-parter civil war in Russia. It wasn't that, like, it was pretty much similar to our timeline. The only difference is, after realizing the intense rivalry between the White Army and the Kornilovists, they came to the decision that it's not worth keeping Alexander Kerensky around, nor to let him fulfill his dream of a new democratic Russia. Now, this mod features other stuff too, such as the uh, German National People's Party. It is not the f it's not the Nazi Party. I can't express that enough. For those of you who comment and think it's the same thing, they are not. As for the Germans, they I plan a three-way civil war with each of the factions, such as the German Republic, the uh, I guess you could say like the German Commune or the Bavarian Commune, which will pop up down here. And then in Prussia and Eastern Germany, pretty much up to so the Silesia area, will have the Nationalists as their core controllers. Um, I might explain a little more as time goes on. Uh, right now, I'm currently working on the Russian events. I did manage to get a head start on some of them, but they... The ones that I made only work following the completion of certain focuses. Now, like I I don't really have them made up right now, but they are underway as we speak. Um, aside from that, there's still a lot of uh, things going around. Like, uh, I'm still trying to establish... A, um, a source of alternate history from everything else. Now, Poland, as you may know, looks a little larger compared to its typical vanilla borders. And to tell you the truth, yes, they do look bigger and they may look stronger, but they're not stronger. Because according to history as far as I know there might have been some instability in the region's core government itself there was a lot of um, internal fighting I guess it was like just very stiff tensions between each politician um, now unfortunately I'd be lying saying I studied Polish history uh, to a very limited extent but uh, when ready, this mod will be, uh, well, it's going to feature more stuff for them as well once I hit 0.1.6. But right now, 0.1.2, the first update will go to Russia because this is technically what the mod is revolving around. As well as certain other events that are close by or if they just turned all of a sudden. 
So, Ukraine also is different. Uh, Mechnosagina. I don't really know how you pronounce that. You could just call it Anarchist Ukraine, but... Or the Black Army. They have survived in this timeline to the point where they... You know, I was going to put, like, fortifications across this river, but I think I might just save that for, like, a focus or something. Uh, they, too, will get their own focus tree, though it won't be, like, big at first. I could plan, like, a future update for them, so that's something to consider. Um, as for Germany, they, too, will get their own focus, but I'm also planning other sets of focuses to intertwine with it. For example, if you play as the nationalist, you could get a basic looking German tree, but you'll get the nationalist uh, version, which will have different names, different effects. Same with the communist and the democrats. Um, mainly the democratic Germans will retreat probably around here. Um, and they'll contact support from the UK and France to try and find, you know, a way to, you know, get help without being demilitarized. So they would get permission to do that. But if they're denied, they're pretty much dead either way. Um, obviously, there's a lot of different mechanics for these events that I do plan. More dynamically speaking and historically speaking... I am trying my hardest to establish the events first because somehow and for some reason I might have a little harder time with those. So I figured why not just get them over with. If I do take a break from them, that's, well, it wouldn't be long. Um, but as for right now, much of the other world, parts of the world don't really differ I should say. FDR is still president of the United States. I think after... Yeah, 1933, he gets elected. And he was president for about... Uh, 12 years. He had emergency powers, that's why. He was president for as long as he could. Um, until 1945, the same year World War II ended, he died... And I think it was Harry Truman that took over. And that resulted in the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombings uh, via uh, atomic. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so this scenario offers a little more variety than vanilla. Um... Even though I'm still currently working on Russia, once I'm done with their basic events and focuses and pretty much any options that they have, this is kind of like the vanilla for the mod, so keep note of that. Uh, so once they have the vanilla of the mod down with them, I'll move on to Ukraine, which they won't have a lot either to start off with, maybe a little less than Russia, but they will have uh, special decisions that you can use. Um, that will cost some political power, but um, it all depends on the players' motives. It depends on how well they defend. It's kind of like the World War One mod, where if you're not ready to defend against the central powers, then yeah, you're in trouble. Um, Germany, same thing. Germany might be really in-depth, because this three-way civil war is going to feature separate singular events such as uh, every time you push an enemy completely out of a state uh, you may get desolated like this like severe damage will linger here or at least you know occur but it'll end up to the point where you um, not only can rebuild but you'll also gain war support because of it now it doesn't affect stability particularly it only affects stability, I think, after a certain portion of either your land or maybe if you lose a general in combat, which is another dynamic thing I would like to try to add. But I'm still consulting with my team on how to accomplish it, so stay tuned for that, and we will get back to you. 
Um, as for everything else, like I said, not too much happens. New states have been added, new icons and whatnot. I can show you a quick little sneak peek as to what I mean. Now, there are new portraits, except for Hirohito. He's, I have to work on him eventually. Uh, but other than that, it follows similar to, I guess, the TNO style. Although Kornilov looks more vanilla based for some reason. I think it might have had something to do with the image generation trying to make him look older. I don't know. But in this timeline, he lives longer. Basically. So I will show you a little sneak peek. I don't know why my screen judders like that every time I load into the game after moving. So So once it's loaded, there is one event that fires and it's relations with Ukraine. Um this sets the stage right off the bat hostilities between the two nations. Now, it may re be reminiscent to real life, but I'm not here to talk about that today. Um, the units are a bit of an issue, but I'm sure those will be resolved after, you know, with time. Uh, these are all the political parties that you have here. So, some might be a little typo, but I guess that's the gist of it. Um... Party popularities are here, new emblem. Also, behind the portraits, each one has its own style. Like, uh, like this one's similar to vanilla, except it's gray. Because I was going for a more metallic feel for everything. I might do it for the GUI. But the idea is simple. Just, like, to make the mod a little more in-depth for real, like, based on real life. But also alter it at the same time. Therefore... After doing all these mechanical what? changes and whatnot, then it'll be ready for testing. So yeah, um, that's pretty much about it. Uh, I will keep you guys as updated as I can. I might upload another video or so, uh, I don't know about next month but or two, depending on how it is. But like I said, this mod is still... It started back in September, so it's still relatively new. But when ready... Um, but if you guys are interested in this project and you would be more than welcome to help us out, we invite anybody of any specialty, whether if it's a coder or a GFX artist, maybe if you like to make some icons, or maybe you like doing portraits or if you really want to be ambitious gui which that also would like pretty much any field would help in any way shape or form or if you want to try to help us improve the lore which we are still currently in talks about that would also be fine too it's all up to you so feel free to hop on the server i'll leave a link for those who are interested in the description down below and i hope you all have a wonderful day take care goodbye